Danny. Hey, how's your after school study group going? Mm -hmm. Oh, those are good kids, Danny, I'll tell you that. But they're not focused, you know? Yeah, but maybe I'm being a little too hard on them, you know? True focus only comes with maturity. Mm. You know they're waiting for you in the counseling room. How oh, are they? Holy Lord, here. <laughs> Listen, uh, listen, I know I'm late, and uh, I could lie to you, but, but I'm going to tell you the truth, because I think you'll learn from that. You know, I screwed up, and I accept complete responsibility for it. How come you're late? I was saving some puppies from a burning building. Anyway, <laughs> what are we studying today? Instead of helping us with our homework, can we talk about Halloween? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, Halloween is your basic satanic holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows who Satan is? Jimmy. <laughs> He's the source of all the evil in the world. Yes, he is. That's right. But he also loves to give kids candy, so let's not be quick to judge. We can't go trick-or-treating anymore, because last year our neighborhood got kind of dangerous. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, it's always been like that. Hey, when I was a kid, you know, my parents were always worried about the hooligans with their shaving cream and their water balloons and so forth. Somebody blew up a car. Good Lord! <laughs> blew up a car? Oh, my God. It's not like the Knicks won the championship or anything. Uh, well, listen, I, I feel bad for you kids. How about, how about I take you out for Halloween trick-or-treat? How'd that be, huh? Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. I know a, a rich neighborhood we can go to. Oh, my God, last year I went, they have big candy, huge. <laughs> last year I got a Cracker Jack box. It had a Buick LeSabre in it. You're like... Yeah! Hello, children. Oh. <laughs> you all know Mr. Denby? Uh, aren't you kids lucky to have Mr. Henderson as a social worker? Although, actually, uh, he isn't technically a social worker. Uh, what he is, I believe the correct term would be a tax evading hockey cheater should rightfully be getting shanked in prison. You guys remember, uh, this is what you'll look like if you forget to put your sunscreen on. So every day... Mr. Dimby, I'm sorry to pester you, but I really need to get those papers signed. All right, sir. Hello, uh, listen, I'd have you know that this face, when I was a child, this face sold one million pairs of orthopedic baby shoes. <laughs> so, kids, I could uh, stand over you as if you were little babies and watch you do your homework. Uh, go hit on Shelly. Go hit on Shelly, yeah. <laughs> uh, Shelly, uh, listen, are you, are you free on Saturday night? No. May I take that as a yes? No. May I take that as a yes? In the interest of saving us the hour we lost doing this yesterday, there is no way in hell that I'm going out with you under any circumstances. Oh, well, hey, now that we have an hour free, you want to make out over by the fountain? Then? So, tell me. What? You know what? How did your uh, blind date go with the sexy phone voice guy? Well, sexy phone voice guy is technically not a midget. <laughs> which he explained to me at length as they were getting his booster seat. <laughs> I know it's tough out there. I don't know. I think uh, maybe I ought to just give up dating altogether. Oh, no, no. You can't throw the, the baby-sized man out with the bathwater, then. <laughs> Every time you have a bad date, you stop dating for like three months, you gotta get back in the game. Taylor left me a couple of weeks ago, and I'm totally over her. In fact, I'm seeing a lovely woman tonight. If you're so over Taylor, why do you have her picture on your desk? It's one little picture. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it's just a blotter. What's a big deal? You know what, though? Maybe Danny's right. Maybe the key is volume. I'll just date more, and that way the more I date, the quicker I'll find the right guy. Well, you can start by looking on the fourth floor. They're giving a safety demonstration down there, and it is crawling with firemen. Oh, firemen. Oh, God. And, and now, they, they do have the height requirement, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You go ahead. I'm going to put on some lip gloss. Whatever! <laughs> Fireman, I can't believe you're attracted to firemen. What a cliche. You mean a cliche like men are attracted to big-breasted women? Hey, that's completely different. We don't care what they do for a living. <laughs> okay, so, how do I look? You're asking me how you look so you can go flirt with other men. You've hurt me, Shelly. You've hurt me in a way that only sex can heal. <laughs> treats me like one of her girlfriends now. Yeah, well, I guess she doesn't think of you in a romantic way anymore, like the way she thinks about firemen. Hey, wait a minute, that's it. 
I got an idea. Maybe I, I can dress up like a fireman, you know? I mean, Halloween's coming up, right? Yes, once again, thank you, Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad that you're not as smart as you thought you were in the first place. Too bad that you had to get caught. That's not like you to lose face. So sad that you're not as smart as you thought you were. is this to figure out? I've got the hat. All I need is the rest of the fireman's outfit. Yeah. Yeah, I need coat, boots, rubber pants, and alarm. Why do you think that's crazy? I mean, if your station gets a call for a fire, I'll bring it back. Well, I'm back from my lunch date. Oh, how'd that go? Uh, he was a very attractive man once I got past the crazy Howard Hughes fingernails tangled around his Reuben sandwich. How do you get past a thing like that? Uh, you leave. <laughs> yeah, hey, listen, Laura, you know, I, I know I told you to go on a lot of dates, but I didn't mean you to, you know, throw open the doors like a fire sale, you know what I mean? <laughs> I give up. Hey, listen, Lori, maybe you're going about this the wrong way. You know that old saying, huh? If you don't look for love, love will find you. No. When I stop looking for love, the only thing that finds me is a depression that makes me stop grooming myself. <laughs> well, thanks for lunch. Mm. I had fun. Yeah, me too. Well, bye. Bye. You're so lucky you found somebody. She seems really nice. Yeah, she is, but thing with her... Made me realize how much I miss Taylor. I know how you feel, Danny. I miss Taylor, too. You know, I used to pretend I was you. I think I've said enough. <laughs> oh, hey, Shelly. Hey, uh, wait till you see my costume on Halloween. I'll give you a hint. Uh, it'll make you weak in the knees. You're coming as polio? <laughs> You'll change your tune when you see my costume on Friday, believe me. I'm not coming into the office on Friday. What? what why, why not? Because I'm going to be running all over town doing errands for the probation officer's Halloween beer bash. <gasps> Nothing more fun than underpaid drunks with guns. <laughs> well, you're all invited, and there's going to be a prize for best costume. You know, Martha and I won a prize for best costume once. We won as bacon and eggs. as Because uh, this is uh, based on something I said later that evening. I've always been something of a ham. <laughs> I'm funny, damn it. <laughs> oh, hey kids. Hey, uh, I'll be uh, I'll be with you in a minute. Ah, oh no. What? Uh, th this party. This goes on from six to eight. That's when I was supposed to take those kids trick or treating. I told them. So don't go to the party. Oh, no, I gotta go to the party. I gotta go to the party, because that's the only way that Shelly will see me in my fireman's outfit and realize how hot I am. Hey, I put that hat on last night. I swear to God, if I wasn't straight as a railroad track, I would have been all over myself. <laughs> so, uh, what are you gonna do? I'm just gonna have to tell the kids that I can't take them trick-or-treating, that's all. Oh, I know. I'll soften the blow by giving them some of these free writing fun sticks. <laughs> Uh, hey, kids. <laughs> hey, listen, we gotta talk. Uh-oh. He's got the fun sticks again. <laughs> I guess we're not going out for Halloween. Well, I, I resent that. <laughs> well, don't you think that old Uncle Norm can just give you some, some magic fun sticks just for, for free sometimes? You know, there always have to be a catch? <laughs> now, I'll tell you what. Why don't you guys uh, write on some of these uh, magic rectangles? <laughs> and I'll talk to you later. So, did you tell the kids? No, I couldn't. I couldn't bring myself to. I, I guess I'm just gonna have to figure out how to be in two places at the same time. Mm, you're screwed. Yeah, maybe I am screwed. Ha! Unless... <laughs> Unless... Unless... <laughs> I'll be back in a few minutes. I'll be here. <laughs> Hello? <gasps> Lori? That's 
a great costume. I'm exactly the kind of guy that I would want to date. <laughs> Except I'm too short, too thin, and kind of femmy. <laughs> so what, uh, where's Norm? I want to see this irresistible costume he was talking about. Norm didn't know if he was going to be able to make it because he had to take his study group out trick-or-treating. Oh, gee. But what is it? Oh, I don't think my noodle just worked its way to the back of my shorts here. <laughs> Arg! Hi. Hey. How's it going with Debbie tonight? Oh, uh, really well. I think we've turned some kind of corner. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, my God. Who am I supposed to be again? I told you, Jessica Rabbit. I mean, the moment I saw you, I said this woman was born to play Jessica Rabbit. I, mean, I think I look more like Ginger from Gilligan's Island. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> I want to go get some punch. Okay, don't be long. Coochie, coochie, coo. <laughs> How could you do that? Do what? Danny, you dressed her to look just like Taylor. No. I can't believe you. I would never. It's really working. I love her now. Hey, great costume. Are you a big Kiss fan? I've been known to rock and roll all night and party every day. I'm really gonna... good. I, I, I gotta, I gotta, I, I need to call Gene Simmons and tell him in 20 years he should hang himself. <laughs> Miss Shelley, could you, could you help me read the instructions for the fire blowing kit? Uh, yeah, because uh, I, I didn't bring my reading glasses. I, I sort of thought it would spoil the whole Dark Lord thing I got going here. <laughs> Well, wow. you're about the best looking guy I've seen here all night. Well, yeah, you're no slouch in the lady department either. <laughs> Is this your first time at a probation officer's Halloween party? Yeah. Normally I go to the party for uh, water and power, because those guys usually end up drunk and then they go skinny dipping in the city's water supply. <laughs> I can't believe they do that. Yeah, I know. I know. That water's not safe for swimming. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to grab a beer. Do you want one? Sure, yeah. Okay. Hey, look at this. I just met this really cute guy. Really? Yeah. Where is he? He's over there adjusting his pantyhose. <laughs> Lori, um, I'm a little buzzed, but I'm pretty sure that's a woman. What? No, that's a guy. He was flirting with me. Why would a woman be flirting with another? Oh. <laughs> Kids, let's go. Well, let's kind of hurry up here. Your old Uncle Norm has a place to go there. Let's do it. I don't understand. How come no one has any candy? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here, but, you know, trick-or-treating is a lot like dating, kids. You know, you, you have to hit on a lot of doors before you, you get some candy. <laughs> Trick-or-treat! Hello, rich lady. We are here for candy. I'm very sorry. I don't have any candy. Now, don't feel bad, kids. We don't want her dried up old candy anyway. <laughs> hey, hey, Artie. Hey, how much you guys get, man? Ah, uh, we're doing bad. Nobody got anything. Well, I got a, a, a new idea. Hey, kids, all group together over here, would you? Come on, let's go, let's go. Okay, now this is what we're gonna do. All the cute kids, you get up front. And, uh, all the unfortunate looking ones, you get in back. <laughs> Come on, kids, you know who you are. Don't make me do this. <laughs> Excellent. Let's go. Trick or treat. Hello. Uh huh. May I say that heaven is missing an angel tonight? <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't give you any candy. Hey, lady, what's with this building? Why won't anybody give us any candy? Well, we had a co-op board meeting, and we all agreed we wouldn't give candy to any children who didn't live in the building. Oh, oh yeah, well, uh, you see, these kids live in a, kind of a tough neighborhood. The reason we didn't go tr trick-or-treating there is too dangerous, you know? There's a reason those neighborhoods are dangerous. And frankly, we don't want that element here. Ah, uh, come on, lady, this is Halloween, huh? Come on, what would Satan think of you? He wouldn't be very happy. <laughs> you don't leave, I'm going to call security. It's okay. 
Let's just get out of here. Yeah, I don't think they like us. Yeah, man, let's just leave. You go to your party, I'll buy the kids some candy and drop them off at the edge of the neighborhood. <laughs> That's sending the kids the wrong message if I do that, you know? Somebody's got to teach these kids what's right. It's going to be me. Everybody hide! <laughs> Just move along. Oh, dear. Can I take the elevator? Oh, the elevator, sure. What's the worst that could happen? You're trapped in a fiery box. Go ahead. <laughs> You don't want to do anything illegal, all right? We're just trying to make a point, so only take candy. Yeah! Uh, hey, look, a chocolate stereo! This wig is hot. I'm going to take it off. No, 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 no. It's just that you look so beautiful. And if I could have created a woman, I couldn't make one as perfect as you. Gee, Danny, that's... Yeah, 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 please don't talk. <laughs> What? My ex-boyfriend's over there. That's your ex-boyfriend? Yeah. Wow. What is it? Well, you're... It's just that you're dating me because I remind you of your ex-boyfriend. Oh, God. I didn't want you to know. Yeah, well, it's okay. I'm kind of doing the same thing with you. I look like your ex? Oh, now you do. I mean, same hair, skirt, mole. And you're wearing the underwear I give you, right? <laughs> God, what is wrong with you? Well, what do you mean? You did the same thing. But you dressed me up. I didn't put you in that frumpy bald guy costume. God did. <laughs> Norm, no. Oh, you look really good in that costume. Yeah, yeah, crazy sexy, I know. Listen, uh... <laughs> Where's Shelly, huh? Did I miss her or what? No, Shelly is in the ladies' room. Look, do me a favor, would you come on? See the nurse sitting right over there? Is that a guy or a girl? Uh, well, Laurie, I think at this point in your love life, that's a minor consideration. <laughs> Never mind. Hey, how'd it go with the kids? Oh, well, the trick-or-treating didn't go so good, but uh, the breaking and entering went great. <laughs> yeah. Listen, no matter what you heard on the news tonight, uh, we were morally in the right. <laughs> Shelly! Shelly! Hey, hey! That looks great. I didn't know you were coming as a shiny vinyl zipper lady. I'm Catwoman. You know, it could be the wine talking, or maybe it's the vodka. But you do look good as a fireman. Oh, <laughs> yeah? Yeah, somebody earlier said crazy sexy. Whatever. <laughs> um... I just called 911. Mr. Denby was practicing his act in the bathroom and he set fire to a stall. Good Lord, what the hell did he eat? <laughs> no, uh, I don't normally do this, but would you like to come back to my place? Well, uh, I'm kind of old fashioned and uh, before I go home with somebody, I just need to know if their intentions are <laughs> honorable. <laughs> And, uh, if they have a penis. <laughs> I don't have a penis. Why would I have a penis? You have a penis. I don't have a penis. Oh, my God, this is like a bad children's book. <laughs> everybody, everybody, uh, I, I just wanted everyone to know the fire is out. Oh, sir, your costume smells like smoke. I hope the rental company gives you your deposit back. Well, luckily for me, I, I own this. <laughs> so handsome and brave. I never saw you like this before. You know what? I'm starting to feel some of those old feelings again. And you are the only one here in a fireman's outfit. Excuse me, everyone. Excuse me. Can I have your attention? NYFG has to come through. Evidently, someone in a kid's outfit set the bathroom on fire. <laughs> Please. Please form a single file line and exit through the front doors. Sorry, Norm. You know, I'm feeling a little lightheaded. Do you think it could help me out of here? 
Do you need me to carry you? Okay. <laughs> hey, Shelly. Shelly, don't forget that old saying of a fireman. Don't be such a huge whore. <laughs> Welcome to the couch of despair. You know, this wasn't the worst Halloween ever. I guess not. One last year was pretty bad. Remember that big fat woman dressed as Lady Godiva? Mm. <laughs> yeah, that was me. Let's, let's make a pact. If one of us gets married, the other two just marry each other. Okay. Yeah. Unless you get married first, you know, because then... Ah, what the hell. Yeah. <laughs> what could be taking so long to count the stupid ballots? Clearly, I'm wearing the best costume here. All right, everybody. I've counted the ballots. The results are in. The best costume award for this year's probation officer Halloween beer bash goes to... Bacon and eggs. What? <laughs> I want to tell you something about this guy. He's always been something of a ham. Huh? <laughs>